What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I am having an incredible one. I'm back here at the Red Brick House. Um, I haven't been here for two weeks, and i got to get my stuff back together. Got some new additions and things for the man cave, some new stuff to give away to you guys. It's autographed, fresh from training camp. Uh, that would be great to be able to give to you guys and things and we have all kinds of news and things that are going on right now because right now um, some interesting things quarterback maybe maybe just maybe the Joneses are geniuses because you know there's always quarterbacks that get injured now people have said you know that people have a difference of opinion on how Trey Lance played I think he's very raw and needs a lot of work and stuff. But right now, you have to understand, there's not a lot of quarterbacks in the NFL. Right now, Sam Darnold is getting another chance. Sam Darnold is literally doing a whole NFL tour. He's having coffee everywhere. I, I don't even know if I can name all the teams that Sam Darnold has been with. He's been with, of course, he was drafted first round by the New York Jets. He was in Carolina with Baker Mayfield. He was with San Francisco, and he's the reason why they traded Trey Lance because they said, we got Sam Darnold. Was he with the Rams? But now he's the starting quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. Okay? So quarterbacks have a need. And now we're finding, uh, I mean, because J.J. McCarthy, they did the knee surgery, and they found out that it was also a PCL injury, and they had to do work on the ligament. He's done for the year. We know that the Buffalo Bills have signed another former quarterback for the Cowboys, which was Ben DiNucci, because they were down to basically Josh Allen. We know that Deshaun Watson is just getting back to practice right now. Now, I'm not hoping or wishing that anybody loses their quarterback, but it seems like we're having a lot of injuries early on with the quarterback situation. And a team may look and say, you know what, Trey Lance could be a viable option for us. I mean, literally, Sam Darnold's getting another chance. Uh, isn't Carson Wentz with the Kansas City Chiefs? So here's some interesting news. This, this is actually ESPN. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, ESPN Sports Center, where they're talking about some of the quarterback situations. Because I look at this and say, okay. Um, the positives of Trey Lance, this is the first game he's played as a Dallas Cowboy. He wasn't here for preseason. He got traded too late. He's probably got a lot of rust because he was a backup quarterback, third string. You don't get a lot of reps during the season. So maybe he was just rusty. He didn't throw any interceptions, and he can still run the football and get you yards. And maybe the throwing comes along. And let's say another team loses their starting quarterback. You have to think that he is a viable option that she might call up the Cowboys and say, hey, I'll give you a third-round pick for Trey Lance. You, you, you never know. Let's go to the tape here. Let's get, let's get what they got. Let's get it. Not going to be adding a quarterback at this time. Okay, so let's talk about the Cleveland Browns. We haven't seen a lot of Deshaun Watson in a while. I know he's been cleared for contact. What's the plan for him now at these joint practices? Yeah, Brian, you know what? Seeing what happened to J.J. McCarthy actually kind of probably reinforces Kevin Stefanski's plan for Deshaun Watson because Watson is not going to play at all in the preseason until the third and final preseason game in Seattle. And even today's practices, which are absolutely critical given the lack of preseason reps he's going to have in live games, facing a different defense, facing a 3-4 scheme, which they are not used to uh, here in Cleveland, at least in training camp, it's absolutely important. And he has to get that timing down right with Jerry Judy who they brought in Amari Cooper as well as Elijah Moore I asked Moore today what he's seen from Deshaun Watson so far this camp you know I, I feel like the way he approaches the game and and then practices his ten, his tendencies to prepare and then how he executes you know we, we're all practices for mistakes and he, the way he corrects mm -hmm. the mistakes you know I've been saying it I haven't been around that before so I'm just you know I'm blessed you know, one word that Moore used to describe just 
consistency and the consistency in terms of work ethic that he brings to training camp. And, you know, that says a lot because Elijah Moore came from the Jets. He uh, joined uh, this team a year ago, and he's worked with a whole lot of quarterbacks. But he did tell me as well he is still working to get that chemistry down. I think the whole receivers room is working to get that chemistry down with Deshaun Watson because remember, Brian, he has not seen live game reps since November 12th of last wow. year. So a lot of work to be done, a lot of work that these teams are planning to do over the next 48 hours. It's an important point considering Watson only played six games for the Browns last only season. Six games. And you Think know what? The they were five and one in those games. I know the stats weren't great, but they were five and one in those games that he started. That's our Michelle Steele at that Says joint. Says a lot about Stefanski. You're right about that. Uh, at the joint practice, like the Vikings sense. and the Browns, McCarthy out for this season. Thank you, Michelle. And a developing story we're following here on SportsCenter as we continue to follow the contract concerns for Cowboys wide CD receiver CeeDee Lamb, who remains a holdout in Dallas. Our Lindsay Theory asked Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy on the deal or lack thereof with their type top wideout. Here it is. It's new on SportsCenter. Understand that the business side is business, but when it comes to the business of Dak and CD, is there a time when you feel like that needs to be settled for you to be able to prepare the football team how do you want to make sure they're ready for the season? Yeah, you know, I, I love I loved your question because the answer was in, was in it. You know, it's business. You know, it it's really business. is, and and I think that you have to separate those those things. Uh, but yeah, we're always working towards our goal. Um, and then I think, like anything, you know, that's the beauty of training camp, beauty of being out here uh, when we need to, you know, do extra or get more one on one attention. And uh, you're able to get that done in, you know, this time of year. So, um, and then, you know, if it carries further, then, then we'll adjust. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, you know, all those situations usually have a different turn or twist and turn. That's just the way they go. So, uh, but, you know, we'll be prepared and ready to work through it. Let's hope so. And now we welcome in reporter Lindsey Theory from Cowboys Rams joint practice. And Lindsey, we just heard from Mike McCarthy on, of course, the situation we're all waiting to hear more on. And that is, yeah. of course, CeeDee Lamb. So what more can you tell us? Well, Shay, of course we are at Rams at Cowboys joint practice where, I mind you, just six days ago, that's where this whole cycle started with Jerry Jones saying there's no urgency to sign C.D. Lamb to a contract followed by C.D. We actually really do miss you. Now, the sense I get around this training camp is that C.D. Lamb will be signed to a deal before week one. Obviously, we heard Mike McCarthy say there that there is a lot of time during training camp to get one-on-ones to try to catch him up and referring really to C.D. Lamb there. Obviously, Dak Prescott has been out here. He will be a full participant again today against the Rams, despite also needing a new contract. But the sense I get is that is much less definitive whether or not Dak Prescott will be signed to a new deal ahead of the season. Okay. Well, here's what we can add to this, okay, as we get ready to get out here. And I appreciate you guys being here and um, checking this out. Here's where we look at this and say, Stephen Jones says, we're going to get it done before week one. They're going to get it done. He's also gone on and said, basically, C.D. Lamb, he needs to get 12 to 15 touches, which is insane because he got about 10 last year. So you're talking about literally 65 more receptions is what Stephen Jones is literally looking at. So they're basically saying, you're going to earn your money. You're going to earn your money. We're going to run your ass in the ground, which is kind of cray cray. But we'll see if anything comes of C.D. Lamb. Excuse me, not C.D. Lamb. We'll see if anything comes of um, trading Trey Lance. I don't think it would necessarily be a bad thing, but we'll see. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys, and uh, I'm going to go cook some dinner, and then we'll get the notes and stuff from practice today. Not, 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 not a real game. Not a real game. We'll be talking about practice. Peace.